But which mob does it drop from, PA? Which mob? Hello friends, Nick here. If you're on this video, that means the treasure event is back, baby. And any time spent to touch grass is a bye bye At least for the next couple of days, am I right? The treasure event is a lifeline given by Pearl Biz in the power of options. The choice to traverse out of the regular treasure zones to alternate drop locations. Some of the additional drop locations are way better due to a higher number of mob spawns, while others are a big head scratcher. And that's not the only thing. PA has never shared which specific mob drops these treasure items, just the locations, which is where where this video shall come to your assistance. All right, let's get into it. The archaeologist map. You can find the road sulfur mine map piece at Teftar Plain, or more commonly known as Centaurs, in the Medea region. The lava tukar piece will be dropped by the Centaurs axeman, while the devourer piece will be dropped by the Centaurs hunter. The Pilaku map piece can be grinded at Wargon's Nest. Although it's a three-people party zone, the low 160 AP requirement won't cost too much of an issue. For for a full pen to Vala season character. The Iron Fist Warder Matt piece is dropped by the Stone Mutant Warrigan, while the Deportee piece will be dropped by the Stone Warrigan. Next up, Laffy's Ben Mountain's Upgraded Compass. Say a short farewell to your time in the dark recesses of history and Auckland. Feel the sun on your skin at Gaifin Raja Temple, or more commonly known as Upper Gaifin. The Elton piece is dropped by the Gaifin Raja Crusher. For the Vulcan Compass drop, the Bellaton mob at Kratuga drops him. The Auckland Compass part, two locations are available for your grinding preference. For the people who like to kick it back in Medea, the Elkish mob at Kratuga drops it. If you're still in desperate need for more sunlight, the Ahib Salem Bear and Wolf Spear Maiden at Thornwood Forest drops in too. And now we're moving on to the infinite parts, the Ornette Spirit Essence. Also, all the mobs I'm listing are for the raw drop itself. In each location, all the mobs have a chance in dropping the pity pieces. Take a trip out to the mild Bellano Sea for the Shuriken's Panacea at Prodi Cave, dropped by Zara Prodi. As sparse dry lands are in your calling, head on over to Crescent Shrine to get the Runner Rose raw drop from the Crescent Guardian. For the Ash Half Moon Kagdanak, the Kadri Armored Fighter at Kadri Ruins has a chance of fulfilling its oath to your HP park grind. Lastly, but not the easiest, the Adora Spirit Essence. Take the path of hunting for the Volterra's Clairvoyance drop at these prime hunting locations such as Valencia, Karma, Dragon, Odalita, and Everfrost. These mobs are required to be killed with a matchlock and then butchered with a knife. If you never tried out hunting, look out for mobs in these regions with the name title Wild at the top. In addition, the Blue Whale and Fugitive Kulk also stand a chance of dropping the Volterra's Pity and Raw Drop. For the mansion piece, you can visit the green grasses at Navarin Step. The Fino Wolf has a chance of dropping the Narc's Crimson Tea, while all the other mobs in Navarin, except for Ferrica, Farina, Elephant, the Elephant Baby, basically the mobs that drops the Volterra's piece, will have a chance to drop the mansion pity pieces. If Tashira's got your spirits down, head on over to Fadu's Habitat. The Fadu's Warrior will drop the Markathon's Glan, while all the other mobs will drop the Cardsvaria Venom pity piece. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce Mokdanan. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> hopefully this helps you during your grinds amidst the treasure event, sending you all the good vibes for your treasure hunting. Leave a like, hope subscribe, and until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye! <laughs> no, Mokdanan. The Fadu's War will drop the Mokdanan's... <laughs> the Fadu's Warrior will drop the Glan... <laughs> The Father's War will drop the raw drop. <laughs>